Hi everyone. I'm Brian Yule, the Master Superintendent of Uplands Golf Club. Yes, it's the middle of February. Hard to believe that we're still in winter. I thought I'd do a video. It just reminded me where we really are at the time of the year. Keith Lyle, fellow superintendent at Sun Peaks Resort in Kamloops, just posted a picture of his golf course saying, wow, golf is not too far around the corner as he removed the snow off of his green. And as the picture shows, he's still a ways away from golf. But here at Uplands Golf Club, we, we've definitely had our challenges. With over a thousand millimeters of rain in the past 12 months, and most of it coming from end of October all the way through till middle of December, uh, we had some flooded conditions. Here on the 12th hole, I was actually walking through puddles six inches deep just knowing how much water we had. We had these atmospheric rivers that left large amounts of rain. So one of our first challenges was to start to dry up these pocketed areas that were quite wet. And over the past two months, we've been doing this type of work. And uh, as we're doing some of this trenching work, we noticed this compaction layer in many of these areas that were causing the water to perch up. So from there, uh, we started to use our slicer to break up these profiles, this compaction layer. And we use a slicer in two different directions that leaves an open void. And now we have this open void, it actually helps the profile start to dry up. But as well, we started to actually apply some sand top dressing. So over the next couple of months, we'll be applying more and more sand in order to help firm up our playing surfaces. So that alone has really helped dry up the golf course. But once again, we were without our challenges in the winter is we were closed for 18 days due to snow cover and cold weather. So we actually hit as low as minus 10 degrees Celsius with wind chill. And uh, once the snow blew off of the greens, we had some exposure and some desiccation on the greens. The green started to turn a straw color. So we had to slowly but surely wake up the greens with some spoon feeding of nitrogen and iron. They're still not actively growing too much right now. We're only mowing once a week. And uh, as the picture shows, the desiccated greens with no fertilizer treatment, once I applied some fertilizer a week later, the bottom part of the picture, you'll see that the color has started to wake up our greens. Just yesterday, I thought, well, I wonder how fast these greens are rolling. <laughs> and uh, you'll see a, a blooper picture of our pro trying to figure out the speeds of these. Our, our speeds actually for middle of February, the greens are 11 feet, one inches on the stint meter. So we're only mowing once a week right now because they're not actively growing. And we're rolling every day just to smooth out the footprints. So having literally tournament speeds, uh, this is what we normally have for the PGA Tour is around 11.2 for our starting green speeds. We're actually enjoying these kind of speeds right now. I'd like to take all the credit, but Mother Nature is kind of helping that as well. So we're quite excited to have a, a great, um, great golf season this year. It looks like everybody's uh, getting back out and playing. Uh, we're doing just under 200 rounds a day. So we have a fair bit of wear on the golf course, but once again, with aeration and fertilization, we're, we're gonna promote some healthy turf. So we're looking forward for everybody to have fun this year and just wish you the best. Happy golfing, everyone. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Yule, the Master Superintendent of Uplands Golf Club. We'll stop for a sec. That went too fast. Our head pro. Checking out the speed of the greens. Pretty nice. Uh, I'm not sure if you're going to get many golf lessons with uh, putts like that. Uh, maybe stick to iron play, but not putting. <laughs>